Hi everyone. Infertility means difficulty in conceiving. We talk a lot about it in today's time because of the career, women getting married late and then we have little time for each other and day duty, night duty, lots of reasons why it has increased. But pollution and environment and the diet and the stress takes the cake. So we do see more and more male infertility and female infertility. So to put it in a nutshell, 30% female cause, 30% male cause, 30% both of them, 33% both of them are involved. So what do we evaluate? It's always five and five in this. For a woman, we look at central hormonal status, if there is anything wrong in the connection between the brain and the ovary. Second is in the ovary, are the eggs developing and re uh, releasing or not? Third, if the fallopian tubes are open or blocked. Fourth, uterus, that is if there is any fibroids which is obstructing inside the endometrium or any local lesion there. Fifth, cervix. So if there is anything which is hindrance reaching the cervix, or sperm reaching the cervix and above it. So all these factors have to be evaluated. Most of the time we do multiple tests for it and after treatment if they don't conceive in three cycles then we do a hysteroscopy and laparoscopy which is putting in a telescope into the uterus and seeing what is the reason and treating then and there. If there is a septum we cut it, if there is a polyp we remove it, if there is a block we remove it. And then same way laparoscopy and understand what is happening and if there is any reason there for infertility like uterine fibroids or endometriosis or infection or a block we remove it so women female infertility out there don't get worried get yourself evaluated treated and then do a hysteroscopy laparoscopy after three to four cycles of treatment a man out there even your semen analysis are decreasing so that is because of stress and the temperatures and the pollution out there even in men we first do only semen analysis. In the semen analysis, we look at what is the liquefaction time, total count, what is the progressive motility, and if there is any infection also. So if everything being less or more, if it's normal, we don't further evaluate for them because we take it for granted everything else is fine. But very important, which we are seeing day in, day out today, is the erectile dysfunctions which we are seeing. The stress can be a reason, but de novo diabetes and thyroid abnormalities which are increasing also can be a reason. So if anything is there, I think people have to talk about it and the sexual life is very very important marital life also includes sexual life sexual health is also equally important then evaluate the man again in the form of central hormones then the local temperature any varicoses or any local uh, hard nodules or everything should be evaluated and the spermatic duct any obstruction should be evaluated and local phimosis or local infections also to be evaluated so all these factors are evaluated even in the man even in the woman and like we said in spite of everything being normal unexplained infertility is also there but getting yourself evaluated is a first step to go forward so no denial accepting then correcting the problem will always give a solution so for a better tomorrow and better babies